Yeah. Have you go to Nsika and do all that stuff? I've, I've gone to Nsika. Yeah, I've off and on over the years, you know, here I go to this one or that one. I was at the la uh, last year in uh, Phoenix. But, you know, it's, Nsika has uh, become for, uh, after you've seen a lot, I mean, it's great if you can see some shows and exhibitions of people's work. Any new uh, techniques is nice, but mostly it's just seeing your old friends. Most of the people sit around the bar at night, you know, and, and uh, at past 9.30, you know, I'm a, I turn into a pumpkin at 9.30, 10 o'clock. You guys know what NSICA is? It's National Ceramic Conference of Educators, Clay Society, and All that good stuff. All that stuff. That's good job. Thanks. There's a brochure up, our little thing up there. It's NSICA 2010. It's in Philadelphia this year. Okay, let me have. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I'm just altering stuff here. I don't worry about things being centered really too much. I kind of like the off-centered uh, thing. That's the advantage of learning how to really throw well and learning how to do everything beautiful and elegant and, um, uh, you know, like uh, Daniel and Tom have mastered uh, beautifully thrown, uh, mastered throwing. And so they can do small, big, medium, or extra large, as large as they can do, the wheel to hold or the kiln to hold uh, forms because they understand the rhythm and the harmony and the sound and the uh, sensitivity of centrifugal force, speed, pressure, all the things your body and your feet. Did you know, by the way, if you look at your fingertips, I always, I've been doing this, I even tell kindergarten kids this, this is, they love this. Everybody's fingers, most people have this little kind of like bulb, little ball, this little fingertip, it kind of goes to like a little tip. You notice that? You have that on your finger, like a little mound? And your, your fingerprint ends right there. 
And, and of course, when you touch something, it's very sensitive, right? It's most, just touch your fingertip right there. So God made that in case you want to throw pottery. <laughs> and for touching babies and flowers and things. Anything really gentle. That's very important. Uh, that, little, that little fingertip. Okay, so where are we? Right, right there. All right. Yeah, you never realize it until you almost lose it. Well, how sensitive your fingertips are. woman in her, her uh, shop here that she runs the gallery. She just had a little uh, brain tumor removed. She did. So she has to relearn how to even blink her eye. She has to relearn? She can't even blink her eye, yeah. She, can't, she, has, to, she has to relearn how to use her throat muscles, how to swallow, how to blink her eye, everything. And um, if you just think about blinking for me, and what we take for granted, the sensitivity on the end of your finger. You don't realize it's there until you lose it. And then if you are lucky enough to regain it, it's like the most precious thing. Like, oh man, I can actually feel the end of my fingertip again. Yeah. People just take it for granted, you know? Yes, they do. Bottle cap. That that'll melt. Okay, now they're gonna take some of these rocks. Throw those there. And I got some little black ones 